Hello everyone and welcome to Friday Football Fever. It is week two of the regular season, so let's fire it up. We start as always with our game of the week, maybe one of the biggest games of the year. Venice hosting Port Charlotte. Langston Provit is gonna start things off with an awesome run early. It would lead to a touchdown here, first down, touchdown later, seven to zero Venice. Port Charlotte then tries some trickery doesn't really work at this point. Venice snuffs it out for a 10-yard loss. Pirates had some flashes on defense. Noah Bain with the sack there, but the Indians' D had some highlights too. Look at this. Shades of Jadeveon Clowney as a result of the big tackle for loss. Port Charlotte helmet popping off. Meanwhile, Bryce Carpenter, Venice's freshman QB, he had a tremendous night. Spins off a tackle and he's off to the races. Gone for the score. 14-0 at that point in the second inning. Later, the Indians with some trickeration, reverse turns into a pass to a wide open Montgomery, Noah Montgomery, 21-0, Venice cruising. Third quarter now, after a long weather delay, lightning hit very close by, it's Langston Provit again, going the distance, 28-0 at this point, Venice just in control of this one. A shocking result, really. They win easily, 35-6. SNN's Amber Stidham saw this one in person. She joins us now live. Amber, I don't think any of us were expecting this kind of result. Were you? With you, Adam. Anytime two of the top teams on the Sun Coast play, you think it's going to be a really close game. Not tonight. Venice got the lead early and held on strong. I'm now joined by winning Indians coach John Peacock. First of all, congratulations on the win. Thanks for staying out so late with us. I, this is a big win for your team, specifically your young quarterback. How would you assess Bryce Carpenter's performance tonight? Well, he, he had an awesome game. You know, he was perfect throwing the ball. He was nine for nine. Um, he had a long run. He, uh, he really did a good job running around. And he really got the ball, so several of the playmakers on the field. We saw several highlights from Langston Provit. Saw a great play uh, where uh, Provit actually passed the ball to Noah Montgomery for a great touchdown. Uh, how would you assess uh, just spreading the ball around? Well, you know, our, our game plan is always to get the ball into Noah and, and Langston's hands. And uh, I felt like we did a good job spreading around tonight. Um, you know, we have some kids that can make plays, and it's, it was only one ball. So uh, we tried to do our best job getting it to them. And Port Charlotte is certainly no easy team to beat. Um, held them really let, got a touchdown the last couple of minutes of the game. Your defense really held up tonight. Yeah, our defensive line played well. Um, you know, they had, they had a pretty good football team, and uh, their defense was pretty tough. They, they played well. Uh, we just made a little more, a couple more plays than they did tonight. Well, again, congratulations on the big win. Uh, Venice comes down on top of this one, 35 to six. Adam, I'll go ahead and send it back to you. All right, thanks, Amber. Give our thanks to Coach Peacock there, sticking around really late, but he's pumped up a big win. All right, let's move on. How about Palmetto having a second really tough game in a row? Let's just go right to the highlights. Opening the season, hosting St. Pete Lakewood. First quarter, first drive of the game. Lakewood QB Ryan Davis finds Sikendry Bidness. Best name of the night, 6-0 Spartans. Palmetto's got a monster QB, though. Sean Allison hits Darius Washington for a first down. Nice run after the catch. And later, it's Allison on a quick one to Simon Williams. This one was a shootout. Lakewood ends up going on to win this ball game 34-31. ODA gets a big win. First of the season, 21-14 over Citrus Park, uh, the Eagles. Nice win for the Thunder there. How about Cardinal Mooney? A new position coach, Paul Meckley, the former Southeast head coach, hosted St. Pete Admiral Farragut, first quarter. Blue Jackets get on the board first. This is a beast of a run out of quarterback Dalton Collins. Just would not go down. 7-0 Farragut. Same score in the second quarter as Collins floats one. Alex Sobchak, he's patrolling the outfield. Nice interception there. Cardinal Mooney comes back to win this ball game 20-13. All right, we will head to the locker room for a break, but still to come, Riverview at Booker. That's always a huge Sarasota rivalry. Plus, I've got Manatee, Sarasota High School, Lakewood Ranch, and much more. You're watching Friday Football Fever. All right, welcome back. Let's just jump right back into the action. Big Sarasota rivalry, Booker hosting Riverview. And uh, the, this one would go back and forth and right down to the wire. Rams capped their opening possession with a touchdown run out of who else? Karan Higdon outside the left. He's got reservations for six. 
Touchdown there, 7-0 Riverview. End of the first quarter, Booker has the Rams pinned and the punt is blocked. Cody Desario with the recovery, 7-2 at that point after the safety. Booker goes on to win a close one, 16-14. Braden River hosted Pembroke Pines Somerset Academy. Panthers break loose in the second quarter where we pick it up. David Halt finds a hole and turns on the juice. Wow, he is quick. Look at him brought down near midfield before he could get anywhere dangerous though. Pirates would get the ball back. River passing game was on point two. Jacob Huseman fires. Look how wide open Travis William is there. Super duper. 19-0, Pirates on a roll, and then more from the river air attack. Huseman perfectly lays out to Justin Ross in the end zone. Nicely done there, great catch, and Braden River wins huge, 54-6. Tough night for Bradenton Christian, which loses a blowout 55-15 against Cambridge Christian. Meanwhile, Manatee hosted Seminole, first ever home game for new head coach John Booth. Second quarter we begin. 23-7 Manatee, and the Hurricanes look for more. Johnny Lang, he's got some moves. He goes the distance. 30-7 Manatee in control after this touchdown here. Lang can move. Later in the second, Seminole QB Julian Wimberly goes deep for the end zone, but that one bounces around, and it's picked off. Mitchell Malik snags it. He gets a nice return out of it all the way to the 50. Manatee goes on to get a solid win, 37-20. Sarasota High School hosted Bayshore, 7-0 Sailors in the first quarter. We begin Bruins ball. Dylan Bresciani is just crushed by Nicholas Richardson. Big sack there for the big fella. Second quarter here. Sailors hand to Davis Gurr and let him run. Nice couple of moves here before he's finally brought down near the sidelines, but not until he gets a big gain and a first down there. Later. It's going to be a keeper for Zachary Hawkins, but he is brought down in the backfield by Jackie Garvin for a sack. Sarasota wins this ball game easily, 24-6. Tough night for St. Stephen's taking on the Seffner Christian Crusaders. 35-10 is your final. St. Stephen's takes that loss. Lakewood Ranch hosted Jesuit starting the first quarter. Tigers' Kevin Newman. He's going to get the ball and slam his way forward for the opening score as he bounces back. Still a touchdown, 7-0 Jesuit early, but the Stangs would answer. Chad Rex, the design keeper, shifty couple of moves for him, fights his way for added yardage, tough play, and then he goes to the air, rolls right, floats one to Trevor Losada, back of the end zone, great touch, solid catch, tied at seven after that. Jesuit wins this one in overtime, though, 27-24. Charlotte went down to Naples. Baron Collier got a solid win over the Cougars, 28-14. Nice one for the Tarpons. How about Northport hosting Naples Lely after a phenomenal sunset on this night? Beautiful evening. Trojans score first. Hand off to Tupac Ismi. All eyes on me. That's a Tupac song. Breaks off a gigantic touchdown run. 7-0 Lely at that point, but the Bobcats have an answer quickly. It's Zephyr Bruno. Big fella. Bust through the hole. Peace out. Touchdown there to tie it at seven. Lely, though, wins this ball game 28 to 14. IMG Academy in Texas as we speak. I have an update to this score. They are leading 62 to 36 in the fourth quarter. This in the Metroplex area of Dallas. How about Lemon Bay? Down to Fort Myers, taking on Bishop Vero. And there's LB the Manta Ray. Love that mascot. Viking QB, meanwhile, Quinn Farrell brought down in the backfield by Brian McGill there. Nice effort on defense later. It's Farrell. He's going to overthrow his receiver. Picked off by safety Victor Mella. And Lemon Bay gets this win 26 to 15. Southeast visiting Clearwater Countryside. Man, this was a one sided affair early. Trent Chemlick to Giovanni Gonzalez for the opening score, 7-0. Seminoles had a tough time just getting anything done on offense with this kind of pressure. Look at this sack there for Countryside. That hurts. Then it's Dante Satcher going the distance, 40 yards for the touchdown. Latest score we had here, Countryside leading 30-7 in the fourth quarter. All right, coming up, we will take a look at the games with Southwest Florida Game of the Week announcer Doug Miles. You're watching Friday Football Fever.
All right, we welcome in Doug Miles from Southwest Florida High School Game of the Week. He calls the action every week on an internet stream. You can find it on Ustream.com or DougMilesMedia.com. Doug, uh, first I think we got to talk about Venice and Port Charlotte, our Game of the Week, number one versus number two, and Venice just blows out Port Charlotte. Yeah, big surprise that we were talking about before, yeah. but when you look at the stats, they haven't played since 08, but Venice has won all six uh, meetings before that, so they have good memories. I expected a lot more out of Port <laughs> Charlotte, though I know this was at Venice, tough to play there, but but man, I mean, they, Port Charlotte didn't have much at all. Yeah, we did their playoff game last year. Very impressive team that went, uh, to, I think, played to the semifinals. But uh, very surprised that they would get blown out like this. Also kind of a surprise, Booker and Riverview. Booker gets a close win, 16-14 to 14 over Riverview. Uh, I, I think most people would have thought the Rams would have won a close one. I thought so, too. But I've been impressed with the way Booker's played. Uh, seen two games so far. They beat Sarasota last week. Uh, Rayshard Goodwin uh, got it going over there. Jeremiah Henderson, big quarterback. Hard to beat a big, strong arm quarterback. Well, that's going to do it for us. He is Doug Miles. I am Adam Shadoff. That's all for Friday Football Fever. Have a great weekend, everyone.